Let's say you want to work inside of the artboard. So basically there's no vector hanging outside of the artboard. Now of course you can use the clipping mask for that. For example, I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle on this and then select everything, right click, make clipping mask. As you can see, it's inside of the artboard, but this way it's going to be hard to edit because you're going to need to double click, double click, and then double click again until you're going to select some shape. So instead of that, we're going to do something else. I'm going to release the clipping mask and remove the rectangle. In this situation, all you need to do is go to the view and click on trim view and check this out. All the vectors are basically inside of the artboard and it is invisible, which is pretty cool. So you can move them around however you like. And this way you're going to see it only inside of the artboard, which is pretty handy. I don't know if you saw that my artboard is pink. Now this is not a locked pink rectangle. I actually repainted it. So if you want to do that, you can go to the file. Let's go to document setup. And make sure to check simulate colored paper and all you need to do is change up the color here. For example, I'm going to go with an orange, click OK, click OK. And I'm going to zoom in and boom, it automatically switched the color. Now you saw how to trim the view. I'm going to uncheck it. You also can do this with the ruler. So I'm going to press Ctrl R and if I drag a ruler on it, you can see that the ruler goes out from the artboard, which could be annoying when you got a lot of artboard with a lot of rulers. So in that situation, what you can do is press Shift plus O. So this way you're gonna select the artboard and you're gonna drag a ruler and check this out. The ruler is gonna be inside of the artboard. I also gonna drag vertical one and check that out. And if I uncheck the artboard and drag a ruler in, it is going to be outside of the artboard as well. And by the way, if you select these rulers, you can see that they're cut off. And these are some of the tips and tricks related to artboard here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.